Hello and welcome. My name is Saad, I'm an ethical hacker and I will be your instructor in this course. In this course, we are going to learn how we can use the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi 0 for hacking. So first, we are going to learn what Raspberry Pi is and what it's used for. And then we're going to move and learn how we can set up and configure the Raspberry Pi 3 properly. And after configuring the Raspberry Pi 3, we're going to move and learn how we can connect to its graphical user interface and to its command line interface. Now in this course, we're going to focus only on the command line interface because it's much faster and smoother than the graphical user interface. And also we're going to focus only on the command line interface because it will improve your knowledge in the next command line. And after that, we're going to learn how we can connect to it using our laptop or computer, tablet, uh, your smartphone, whether it's an Android device or an iOS device. And after learning how we can connect to the Raspberry Pi, now we're going to move to the network basics section. And in this section, we're going to learn the basics of the network that will help you to understand what's happening in the real world. And then we will be ready to move to the cracking WEP Wi-Fi encryption section. We're going to learned how WEP Wi-Fi encryption work and how we can crack the key using multiple methods. And after that, we're going to learn how we can crack WPA and WPA2 Wi-Fi encryption keys. So I'm going to be explaining more than methods. First, we're going to learn how we can crack the key using the dictionary attack. First, we're going to capture the handshake, generating a word list using the Raspberry Pi or the Windows. And then we're going to use the Raspberry Pi to crack the key and Windows to crack the key. And at the end, I'm going to show you the fastest method to crack the key using a dictionary attack, which is using the graphics card of your Windows machine. And if this method didn't work with you, you can try the second method where you'll be able to broadcast a fake Wi-Fi access point to capture the key. And after learning how we can crack WEP WPA2 Wi-Fi encryption keys, we're going to move and learn how we can set up the Raspberry Pi 3 as the attacker server, where we will be able to hack Windows, Linux, and Mac operating system. And then we're going to learn how we can use the Raspberry Pi 0 as a hacking device. So whenever we plug it to any Windows or Linux operating system, we will be able to hack it within 10 seconds. And also we're going to see how we can steal and crack any locked Windows login credentials just by plugging the Raspberry Pi 0 to the target machine. And after getting access to the target operating system, whether it's Windows, Linux, or Mac operating system, we're going to move to the post exploitation section. And in this section, you are going to learn the attacks or the module that you can run or launch on the target operating system. And you also are going to learn how you can interact with the target operating system. So first, we're going to learn how we can interact with the target operating system, delete files, add files, upload, download files. And then you're going to learn how you can escalate your privileges to administrator in Windows or root in Linux and how you can maintain your access. So whenever the target reboot is a operating system, you will still be able to get a reverse connection from the target operating system. And the last section is going to be the bonus section where you will find all of the extra lectures that I will be adding it to the course. And in this course, you get 24 seven support. Just post your question in the Q&A section or send me a direct message and I'll be glad to respond within 24 hours.